Hello guys, my name is Vinay and in this video we are going to discuss about cinder blocks. So what are cinder blocks? Manufacturing process and dimensions and cost of cinder blocks. Also advantages and disadvantages of cinder blocks. Also we are going to compare the differences between cinder block versus concrete block. So don't skip the video, watch till the end. Let me introduce myself, my name is Vinay. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe my channel and also click the bell icon. Let's start our video. So what are cinder blocks? These cinder blocks are hollow rectangular construction blocks. These are made from a mixture of Portland cement and an aggregate of cinder from burnt coal. The name cinder came from the cinder coal, which is fully burnt coal. Okay, these cinder blocks are light in weight and have low density when compared to other types of blocks. The ash component which is present in the block makes it much lighter. But the cinder blocks don't have the same tensile strength and load bearing capacity as of conventional block. So this is some of disadvantages and so these blocks are mostly ignored in many major projects because a lot of code books prohibit the use of cinder blocks due to poor tensile strength and also due to weak structural integrity but we can use in small residential buildings and also retaining walls and also gardening walls etc by introducing steel bar the steel bars are erected along the walls to give tensile strength to the structure. So what is the manufacturing process? Cinder blocks is also a type of hollow concrete block. So the manufacturing process of cinder block is same as hollow concrete blocks which we already discussed in hollow concrete blocks video. So I will give a link in the description and also in the i button you can go and watch there. But the only difference is we have to change the aggregate type from sand and stone to ash or cinder. So the standard mixture of cement, ash aggregate and water is taken and pressed with the help of hollow block making machine which contains various mold sizes. So based on these different mold sizes we will get various cinder blocks. Okay, after 24 hours of air drying these blocks we have to keep the blocks in water tanks for curing purpose and they will be removed after 2-3 to three weeks and used for the construction work. So this is the manufacturing and we will see what are the dimensions and cost of the cinder blocks. The dimensions most commonly available in 2 inch, 4 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch, 10 inch and 12 inch wide, also 2 inch, 4 inch and 8 inch height and 8 inch and 16 inch long. Next, we'll discuss about cost of cinder blocks. These are mainly depend on dimensions of the block. The price may be vary between 85 rupees to 200 rupees per block, and the prices are fluctuate when the cement prices fluctuates. So, the rates are not standard. Uh, based on the market, the prices may fluctuate. Next, we'll discuss advantages of cinder block. So, there is no need of dressing work. Cinder blocks are light in weight. For the installation of these blocks, we don't require much skills and we can easily install these blocks. Inner walls are possible which gives more carpet area. And the blocks are bigger than bricks so require less number of joints and motor which in turn saves a lot of money. These provide better insulation against heat, sound and dampness. There is no need of plastering works. Next, disadvantages of cinder block. These blocks can make it difficult to reach electrical, plumbing and pipes in emergency situations. Also, cinder blocks have become an outdated material because of poor tensile strength. And over time, cinder blocks have become more expensive due to lack of availability in the market. The blocks doesn't withstand the forces of nature properly and requires regular maintenance. So these are the disadvantages of cinder block. Next we'll discuss the differences between cinder block and also concrete block. 
So these differences already discussed in the video. So I am giving a basic overview of the points which are discussed in the video. The cinder blocks we use ash as an aggregate. In concrete blocks we use sand and stones as an aggregate. Cinder blocks are light in weight. Concrete blocks are heavier in weight because these are solid blocks. And these uh, cinder blocks cannot withstand higher loads due to less tensile strength and these are much stronger and can withstand heavy loads. And cinder blocks are used in smaller projects like garden walls etc. And concrete blocks are largely used in the major projects. The overall cost of the cinder blocks are more because these requires a lot of repair work. Whereas for the concrete blocks, these require less repair works and cost less. We discussed what are cinder blocks and what are the advantages and disadvantages of cinder blocks and also we discussed different sizes available and also cost of cinder blocks and difference between cinder block and also concrete blocks. So if you like our video, please share it with your friends and it will help them also. And please don't forget to subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon. See you in the next video. Thank you.